Hello everyone and greetings from Numitech. Today we are going to discuss about a compiler that is known as SDCC. It stands for Small Devices C Compiler. And it's an open source compiler, so it means it is available for free of cost on the internet. Basically, we are going to use this compiler to compile 8051 programs and we are going to create hex files and assembly files with this compiler. As you know, in the previous video, we used Keel C compiler to compile our 8051 programs. But there is one limitation of that compiler that in the student version, it limits the code size of your program that you cannot compile a program whose size is above 2 kilobytes. So to resolve that problem, we are using SDCC compiler which is available for free and you can make your program as long as you want. Also this compiler is very easy to use. You can compile your program with just a single click of a button. So in this video, we are going to see how to install SDCC and how to attach this SDCC compiler with the programmer notepad. And after that, we are going to tell you how to make a plugin of that compiler so that we can compile our programs with a single click of a button. And in the end, we are going to discuss some tips and tricks about this compiler. So please watch this video till the end. And also, if you are new to this channel, then please do subscribe our channel. Your subscribes and likes keeps us motivated to make such kind of content. And now, without any further ado, let's start learning. Now first of all, we are going to download SDCC on our Windows 10. So for that, simply go to google.com and type SDCC in search bar. As you can see when we enter, now after searching, as you can see, we have to go to this link, which is showing SDCC Small Devices C Compiler. So simply click on that link. So as you can see, the website will open. And here you can see the details about SDCC. Here on this website, you can see that what kind of C standards it follows. And as you can see, it supports many important versions of controllers and processors. Now to download the latest version of SDCC, we have to click on a text link. As you can see on the left side of your website, uh, there is a text that is showing snapshots and we have to click on that text link. And after this, a next web page is going to open. And here on this page, you can download the multiple versions of SDCC. You can download it for Linux, you can download it for Windows, you can download it for Mac also. And here on this page, we are going to choose a version that supports both 32-bit and 64-bit Windows operating systems. So to download SDCC, we have two options. First one is to download an exe file and second one is to download a zip file. So here we are going to download a zip exe file. So just click on the first file or the, you can say that latest file. After clicking on that file, you are going to a web link and here in few seconds, your download will be going to start. As you can see, a download pop-up is going to open and you just have to click on save file button to save the exe file of your setup. And after few seconds, your download is complete and you just have to click on your downloaded exe file to start the setup. After clicking on setup, a warning will appear. So since it's an old compiler, so window defender might find it hard to recognize that file, but there is no Trojans or any kind of malware into that program. So you can download it without any uh, hesitation. So to run that program, just click on more info, then click on run anyway button. And after that, my uh, antivirus is also scanning that. But as you can see, it is showing that this file is safe. So I'm going to close this pop-up. And now I'm going to run this setup. Now simply click on next button. Then again, I agree. Then again, next. Then again, press next button. Now it is showing the location where it is going to be installed. You can change that location if you want to, but I'm going to keep that location same. Now click on install and your installation will be going to start and after the installation process is completed you just have to add the path to your environment or variables so for that just click on next and after that just click on finish now your sdcc is installed and to check whether it is working properly or not so for that you have to go to uh, simply command prompt just type uh, just type cmd in search bar and after that press enter and here just type sdcc 
space hyphen v to check the version of your SDCC. After that, press enter. And as you can see, it is going to show you the supported controllers and its general public license. That means your SDCC is working properly. Now just close this command prompt. And now we are going to download our uh, programmer notepad. So just type programmer notepad and here you can see a web link. Just click on first link that is programmers notepad. Click on it. And when next page opens, just scroll down and click on download. Now we have to click on download installer. The pop up will open and you just have to save that file. So both SDCC and programmer notepad are very light softwares. So in few seconds is it going to be downloaded and after that just click and your setup will start running. Now simply click on next. After that you have to accept the agreement then click on next. Then again next. Now it is showing the location where it is going to be installed. You can change it but I am keeping it same. So click on next. Then here it is showing that python scripting extensions. If you require that just click on that button if you don't just skip that step and click on next then again click on next then again click on next then after that simply click on install button then click on finish as you can see you are going to get an icon of programmer notepad over here just double click on it now your programmer notepad is installed and it's running very well and now let's see how to add SDCC plugin into your programmer's notepad. Just go to the top menu and here you can see an option that is known as tool. So after that click on tools and after that you have to go to options. After clicking on options go to tools and in tools you have to add a new tool just click on add. After that you have to name your tool I am going to name it SDCC. Here you can give any name to your tool and after that in command you have to click on these three dot button and now I am going to show you a proper path of your file location that you have to select. For that you have to go to C drive and after clicking on C drive you have to go to program files and in program files you have to search for SDCC and as you can see we have a folder of SDCC over here click on it. Now you have to go to bin folder and after going to bin folder you have to click SDCC file. Yeah here. Here you can see we have a SDCC file over here and it's an application file. So just click on it and after selecting it, go to open. And as you can see after that the path of SDCC.exe is selected. And after that you have to choose the folder name. Uh, the folder name is according to where you are going to save your C file program. So what I am going to do, I am going to save our program in D drive. So just click your D volume. And after that create a new folder by clicking on make a new folder. And after that give the name to the folder. I am just giving it name ABC. You can give any name. And after that just click on OK. And you can see your folder path is uh, d slash abc. Now you have to give some parameters. And here we are going to give two parameters. First one is percentage %d and percentage %f. And if you want to see the meaning of these parameters, you can scroll down over here. These parameters are important to compile the program. And after that, just click on OK. And as you can see, a tool has been added. And then after that just click OK. Now you again go to tools and as you can see a button named SDCC is there. And we are going to use that button in few minutes. And now we are going to write our C program. For that we have to save our file first. So click on file then go to save as. After that we are going to save our file in D drive in ABC folder. And here the file name and folder name must be same. So just give the name ABC and after that add an extension dot C. And then click on save. Now it's going to be a C file and I am pasting a code over here. So this is a simple code of LED blinking. So after writing your code just save the code and go to tools and click on SDCC. 
Now to check whether it has created our hex files or not, we have to go to our folder. Now as you can see in our ABC folder, there are multiple files available. So as you can see, we have our ASM file available. Then our IHX file, which stands for Intel hex file is available to us. That is going to be burned in our controller. And if you want to see the hex code, just double click on it. Then open it with your notepad. And as you can see, you can uh, you are going to get a hex code over here. So simply burn that file into your programmer and you are going to get your desired outputs. And you don't have to add tool every time. Just go to your tools whenever you want to write a new program and click on it and just press on edit. Just change the folder location in which you are going to save your program. So all new files compile to a new folder. Now I am going to share some tips and some solutions of some problems that we are going to face while running the programs. So my first tip is about header files. So if you want to see the header files that this SDCC compiler is going to support. So for that you have to go to your C drive. Then you have to go to your program files. Again you have to go to your SDCC folder. And in that folder there is a folder name include. And in that folder you are going to see all the header files. For 8051 just click on MCS51 folder. And here you can see the list of all the supported header files for 8051. In my program I have used this 8052 header file. And as you can see the notation of SSFRs are given in this header file. So that you can easily use them in your program. So now my second tip is regarding the font size. If you want to improve the font size just go to options. Then click on fonts and colors and here you can increase the font size. Just click on OK and as you can see your font size is increased. Another tip is always save your program in a separate folder. That means if you are going to make two programs, please keep that program in a separate folder so that there is no problem of mixing of two program files. Another tip is regarding the adding of tools. Always give the different names of the tools that you are going to add. As you can see here I have given the same name of different tools. So because of that you might get confused that which buttons you must be clicked to compile the program. So that was all regarding SDCC and programmers notepad. So if I have missed something or you want to add additional information regarding SDCC or programmers notepad, please do write us in the comments. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. And please do subscribe to our channel. That's it. This is Gruhanshpal Singh signing off. Enjoy being a learner.